The launch of a book is a, is a kind of special moment, especially when it involves 144 authors from across the world. Incredible. My warmest congratulations then to you for this ambitious and most timely initiative. This is a collective intelligence in action, actually. We know that teachers have been on the front lines throughout the pandemic, demonstrating incredible resourcefulness and dedication to accompanying their students, not only academically, but also emotionally. But our uh, surveys also find that in many countries, especially low and middle in income ones, teachers didn't receive uh, appropriate support to make the nearly overnight shift to remote learning. Nor do they feel fully equipped, well prepared to bring issues defining our lives into the classroom, starting with climate change. Well, education is a crossroads. The recovery cannot be a return to the status quo. Instead, it's a singular, tremendous opportunity to transform education. Teachers stand at the very heart of this. They require more recognition, more support, training and professional development opportunities. The immediate urgency everywhere is to ensure that all children and youth return to school and learn. We know that the lack of access to distance learning combined with a string of other factors, from poverty to gender to disability, have prevented hundreds of millions of children from pushing their education. This has deepened a pre-existing education crisis, for sure. Now, it's the time to repair past injustices and strengthen education as a public endeavor and a common good, a public common good. We need to avoid backsliding and accelerate progress towards the UN Sustainable Development Goal on Education, number four. UNESCO's recent Futures of Education report, led by International Commission, calls for a new social contract to rebalance our relationships with each other, with the planet, and with technology. It makes the case for the pedagogy that emphasizes cooperation and solidarity, and for, for curricula that prize ecological, intercultural, and interdisciplinary learning. So it's a kind of different model to put in practice. It stresses that teaching should be further professionalized as a collaborative endeavor, allowing for new pedagogical practices to be developed and shared. UNESCO works on all these fronts to make education transformative, notably by leading global programs on education for global citizenship and sustainable development. This call for different approaches for teaching and learning, to give students uh, the knowledge, the values, the skills, and also different kind of aptitude, behaviors, which is about to care and act for others and the planet. So now it's the time to mobilize action and ambition to transform education. And this is the aim, actually, of the Transforming Education Summit that the UN Secretary General will convene in September. He has entrusted UNESCO as the lead agency on education to coordinate uh, the summit, the preparation of the summit itself. The voice of teachers and youth will be decisive in championing this transformation. The world urgently needs a global movement to fulfill the universal right to education, and each one of you plays an important, decisive part and role in this process. I thank you once again for inviting me to this launch and have full confidence that this impressive volume will be a living inspiration to teachers and educators all around the world.